Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to outline how you can create and animate a seesaw within one of your PowerPoint presentations. We're going to show you this step by step and you don't need to do anything before we start. Now, this is a really powerful animation that you can use within your PowerPoint presentations, especially if you want to demonstrate one thing outweighing something else. Okay, so lots of applications for this. So I've created this very quickly. I'm just going to show you how it works and then I'm going to show you how it's built behind the scenes. So I'll just show you our animation. Okay, you can see our seesaw tilts to one side. So we're going to create a new slide. Okay, we're starting from scratch. So obviously you can put this into your own PowerPoint presentations. The first thing that we need to do is go up to design. No, we don't. The first thing we need to do is go to insert. We need to press shapes and we want to press this isosceles triangle. It may also be down there in your basic shapes. So I first off draw myself a triangle. And then I need to go back to shapes and I need to click rectangle. Now this is going to be the board for our seesaw. It starts off as a simple board. What we now want to do is format this. So we right click, we go to format shape, we go to 3D rotation and on our Y axis we want to press this until we're happy that this looks like a board. What we also want to do is go up to presets and we want to add a relaxed moderately, moderately um, position. Okay, and you can still play around with this to get this looking the way you want. The last thing we want to do is add a bottom bevel. So we'll just add a simple bevel to it. And you can see that's now looking like a board and feel free to play around with that to make sure it looks the way you want. And all this can be customized in terms of colors, etc. What we now want to do is drop this down and make sure it's centralized over the top of your triangle. Okay, so you get it where you want it, but there looks about right. Now, a lot of the time you want some text that goes along with this so that you can show one thing outweighing the other. So what we need to do is add a text box, draw this in. So we want to say in this case, um, efficiency, and we also want to then put another uh, text box in on the other side. And we can have this as being downtime. Okay, so you want to say that efficiency is going to override downtime. Centralize that. Now what we need to do is group these. So we need to draw a box around the top shapes. Don't include the triangle. Okay. Make sure that you go low enough so that all three boxes highlight. Okay, so you can see I've got my three boxes highlighted, my triangle is not. I now go to Format, I press Group, and I group these together. Now what I want to do is apply our animation. So we go over to the Animations tab. We want to go down to the yellow section, and we want to press Spin. Okay, let it go crazy. Okay, now we need to edit this animation. We want to click Animation Pane, top right here. And we want to right click on our animation. We want to go to Effect Options. We can now uh, pick the uh, spin direction and we can also edit so that it doesn't do the, the full turn. So the first thing we want to do is apply 15 into the custom section, 15, 1, 5 and press OK or hit enter. Now, I'll just show you this in practice when we play our animation. Helps if it works properly, doesn't it? So, effect options, apply 15 and hit enter. And press OK. See, it's worked this time. OK? Now, you can see that we don't want downtime outweighing efficiency. We want it the other way around. So, we go back to our effect option. And this time, we go and press counterclockwise. That's OK. It's gone the other way. Now, you can obviously build upon this 
uh, quite a lot to be honest. You can change the colours, you can also make it look like it's a wooden bench by using some of the fill effects. You can make uh, this into a cone and have it transparent. This is quite a simple way you can uh, change things. You can also put little seats on the um, seesaw itself. There's lots of ways you can elaborate on this. This is a real simple outline of how you can uh, animate something in this respect. And I will go into more detail in another video where we drill down into some of the other things you can do with this to make it look a bit more professional. But from a very uh, straightforward standpoint, this is how you do that. I hope this has helped. If it has, please like and subscribe to the channel. Any questions or comments, pop them in the description below. And we'll see you next time.